Mocha Pro 2020 introduces a fun and easy to use new tool that will speed up your planar tracking and masking workflows. The Area Brush. The Area Brush tool is designed to define tracking regions as simple and quick gestural paint instead of clicking and dragging spline points or shapes. We can now use paint to tell Mocha what planar areas to track or what areas to avoid. On by default, Area Brush's quick mask mode allows us to add brush strokes on screen like most common paint software. To use Area Brush, select the new icon in the toolbar and simply drag the cursor. You can scale your brush by selecting the open or close bracket keys, or if you use a Wacom tablet, the brush can scale based on pressure sensitivity. And if you hold the Option key for Mac or Alt key for Windows, you can also erase in Quick Mask mode. When you turn off Quick Mask or select another tool, the Quick Mask is converted to a traditional Mocha spline and you can start tracking. To quickly see how the Area Brush can speed up your tracking projects, let's track this screen. Since I want to avoid the reflections and the finger on the foreground, I would typically spend some time isolating the edges of the screen with multiple shapes and then create a holdout mat for the finger on the second layer. Now with the Area Brush tool, we can quickly paint a wide stroke over the edges of the screen and we automatically have a tracking layer that will avoid the reflections. For the occluding foreground finger, we can paint a new second layer and we've quickly defined a screen track and holdout mask that can both be tracked at the same time. After tracking, we can align our surface tool to the screen corners and we have our rock solid screen track to render out or export to a wide variety of host editing and effects applications. For a more complex example, we can use the new area brush tool to quickly add many small search areas to one layer. In this shot, I need to track multiple tracking markers on this green screen. Instead of drawing multiple splines and quite a lot of clicking, I will adjust the brush size to roughly a little larger than the markers and paint over each track marker and make quick paint refinements. Then I click out of the quick mask to convert each paint area to a spline on the same layer, saving me an outrageous amount of time. Editors and colorists who would rather not spend time drawing splines will love the Area Brush tool and there are so many applications for it. Creating quick garbage masks for color correction, sign replacements, witness protection, and of course for defining search areas for successful planar motion tracking. Check out the new Mocha Pro 2020 at BorisFX.com for the newest in fast, efficient, and powerful planar tracking workflows.